There is a shortage of lifeguards in our area, just as people are hitting the pools and beaches to seek relief from the scorching heat. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. That critical shortage of lifeguards will certainly impact pools, beaches, and camps. And there is now an effort underway to get more people to sign up. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has more. And we need to open the pool because aren't you ready to jump in and uh, do your laps? But the outdoor pool is empty at the YMCA in Glen Cove. President and CEO Ann Bridges says without lifeguards, opening day is going down to the wire. The shortage is like nothing I've ever seen. We need 30 more lifeguards. The pay is better than minimum wage. Desperate employers are raising the stakes, offering certified high school and college students 17 to 25 Five dollars an hour or more. There's a place in the Hamptons. They're offering thirty dollars an hour, plus they give you an apartment for the summer. Beach clubs, pools, and summer camps are reaching out to Madi Elahu for help. He trains lifeguards. For a month and a half, we were the only ones in New York State running lifeguard classes. His 20-hour class costs three hundred ninety-five dollars at Swim Stars of Rockville Center. Would be employers say they will even pick up the tab. My goal is right here now is to uh, finish the test, pass the test, and become a lifeguard. The money is really good right now, and I'm actually really glad I had this opportunity. The critical lifeguard shortage is nationwide and pandemic related. Some parents don't want their kids working during the pandemic. Some teens say after sitting home for a year, they're out of shape and fear they wouldn't be able to pass the lifeguard physical. The town of Hempstead reports due to early planning, its beach lifeguards are in place, but still needs 50 swimming pool lifeguards. This is a great opportunity. You're outdoors, you know what, you're by the water, let it be the ocean, you're at the pools, and you really have the desire to really be there and help people because you're protecting lives. Lifeguards are fulfilled, he says, with friendships and service. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.